Hello, hi, my name is Jess Marie. Welcome to Yesterday's Coffee Grounds, where we are just getting out of our raspy voice this morning. Usually I do like a little whoop, and then there's guitars and banjos over there. So they always have that little tone, that frequency when I do my little whoop whoop. Kind of like uh, Sharpay and Ryan from High School Musical. I like to do that as well. So that is where we're at. Um, hello, hi. If I didn't say, I typically talk about things that have happened in my life and what I have going on. So hi, welcome. Uh, today, I'm going to talk about some people's favorite and some people's least favorite topic, which is exercise. Yay! I am an exercise nerd. This is what I went to school for. I'm very passionate about well-being of the body. I am very familiar with getting in tune, out of tune, being strongly connected to the body and being very disassociated with the body. I'm so familiar with with everything in between and that's exactly how I wanted my life to be if I'm going to be somebody who helps connect people to their bodies, right? Because it's just a it's a common thing where we're we're very disassociated with a lot of things, with the food that we eat, with um our spinal alignment, um we're just we've become disassociated with it we don't see the value in it because of the way that society is structured uh and, and that's my own that's how i see things that's okay if you disbelieve or disagree with what i my opinion uh so yeah it's just something that i'm very passionate about and i love being able to just give little bits of advice when it is appropriate within my scope of practice because I, I do have a diploma but I am not certified as a personal trainer or as anybody to diagnose anything. But where I find a lot of value from my diploma is the knowledge, is knowing how exercise benefits the body, mind, and spirit, how it releases endorphins, allows for serotonin to be more readily absorbed because the blood is flowing more, toxins are being taken back to the lungs to be exhaled out. You know, we got things moving, we got motion is lotion, so your joints feel a little bit better. And when you, you feel stronger in your body, you don't have to be fancy with it, you don't have to go to the gym. We, for the longest time, we just got a 20 pound weight yesterday, literally last night, and I don't think we, neither of us have used it. We've had one singular 10 pound weight and one singular 15 pound weight. And we've been using that for a couple of months and it doesn't have to be fancy. You don't have to invest a lot. I know even like last night, the 20 pound weight was $44. That is a lot, I get it. But if you just buy one, you do it on each side. I know it just, it seems like a lot longer. Break your work up, up workout out. Break your work up, up, work, break your work out up in a day, <laughs> especially like me as a mom. Uh, that's what I do. I'll do five, 10 minutes here, five, 10 min minutes there in little pockets of opportunity. That's why running has become huge in my life because I don't have the same ability to lift weights. I can pop my son in the stroller and we can go for a run, right? And then if we go somewhere, like a lot of times I'll find a log and just do like, I don't know, whatever you call them where it's like, you just like have one leg up on the log and you like, extend your back leg and do stuff like that, push-ups. If there's a nice branch, do a couple pull-ups, like just stuff like that. Keeping the body, especially at a young age, keeping the body moving and, and happy and doing the best we can, being connected to this machine because it is so beautiful. And the more we take care of it when we're young, the more efficient and strong it'll be when we're older. Yes, there is a natural deterioration of the body, but you can kind of work with that. You have room to play, right? So I got into fitness and exercise partly because I was friends with these girls and they told me I was, well, one of them specifically, and I'm, oh mama, oh mama. She told me I was undeservingly skinny because she did the calorie counting and she would go for runs and it was just kind of this whole toxic circle of, of talking. It was me and three other girls. And we ended up getting into this. I got into a fist fight with this girl who told me I was undeservingly skinny. She was blah, 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 talking smack. 
and um, I ended up like taking huge offense to it because I, for most of my life, thought I was overweight. Not overweight, but you know, body image because I, I watched things like Coyote Ugly and I was like, wow, I would have to be the girl wearing pants because I have thick thighs. Well, girl, you have thick thighs because you play softball. Like you're in a constant squat when you're batting or when you're fielding, like you're in a constant squat. Like that's what you train for, you train. And, <coughs> pardon me, home girl wouldn't see, like she said, my diet was poor. I, you know, she was like, not everyone can just have a French vanilla from Tim Hortons and be fine. And it's like, there's like 200 calories in that or 2000, I don't know. Oh, my throat, something's going on. I think it's cause it's so moist in the air. There's a lot of moisture. I got to turn our dehumidifier off, but um, yeah, it actually, it really stuck with me for a long time. And I was like, man, I need to get strong. So I ended up, I spent, after grade 11, my, my brother got a bench press and I spent a lot of that summer smoking weed and working out. And that's partly because I live far out of town. If I was going to town, it was a commitment. I was there all day. It wasn't just like, like, hey, I'm gonna hang out for a couple hours and go home. It was a full commitment. So I spent, I would spend like three hours working out and just learning exercises and practicing. And I ended up, when I went into grade 12, I had a guy friend who convinced me to start going to the gym. Started going to the gym and felt really good about it. And I actually had a teacher and he, I, I was never actually his student, but um, he had told me, he's like, Jess, I heard a lot of awful things about you. He probably didn't use the word awful, but he's like, Jess, I just heard some things about you. And I was, I was a little bit concerned that I was like, you don't mean to judge people, but when you hear things from other staff, faculty members, it's like, Jess, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm really impressed with the progress. And I had another teacher also say that he was voting, he wanted me to be most improved student. I'm like, uh, no, absolutely not. And that's partly because we talked about that fight in grade 11. And there was also this one teacher that I had. I had a science teacher who was an absolute D-I-C-K. He was awful. And I just called him out on a lot of his BS. It's like, no, you're not funny. Don't like, stop, stop. So I would be extra sassy, extra, see you next Tuesday in this class. So I got a 67, yeah, 67 in biology uh, in grade 11. Then I had a different teacher. I got a 98 in biology 12 because one, teachers make a huge difference. Two, we were learning about systems and stuff like that. That kind of ties in with uh, me and my love of school uh, with biology and understanding how the body works, the functions of the body. And also this teacher gave us a lot of opportunity to make up for things we got wrong. We could redo our test. So we did, if we did a test, every answer that we got wrong, if we um, filled out all the right answers, did all this, the studying to find the right answer, he would give us a half mark or like 0.4 of a mark or a quarter of a mark. I guess a 0 0.25, 0 0.25 of a mark for every incorrect answer, if that makes sense. So every four answers, you'd either get a point or every two answers, you'd get a, a point, an extra mark. <coughs> so that was awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Haverstock. You were amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> but he wanted to vote for me for most improved and he asked me about it. I was like, please do not. I, I still... <laughs> care about what people think about me I no no <laughs> so during this time I was saving off money I was working a little bit I was working two days a week and uh saving money because I wanted to go to California and then there's this thing where it was like scholarships and bursaries you can get free money to go to school and I was like Sh yeah like that would be cool so I do this this it was like a couple lunch periods right and you just go in you write a letter and you send it gets sent off to all these different organizations where they just give people money so I needed a program to say that I was going into and 
I was talking to one of my buddies who had graduated the year before and he's like, Jess, I'm in this program called Human Kinetics. It's basically a diploma program for kinesiology or you learn all about health and wellness of the body, fitness, how to properly move the body, what um, different things are like abduction and adduction, like out in the body and just like supine, propine, supine. I know this is supine, anterior, posterior of the body. So just different stuff like that. Uh, that was actually really lame, <laughs> but, but um, yeah, and then like mathematical equations on like if you were to throw a ball, like the mathematical equation of of the arm and the bending of the arm, like things like that, I'm, I'm a nerd about, I think are so cool, are so awesome. And uh, yeah, that's I guess how I got into fitness. And once I graduated school, I wanted to learn in the real world, outside of the world, I graduated college in 2018, it's 2023, and I'm finally getting my shit back together. <coughs> okay, I apologize for my coughing, I'm a human. It's just the way humans are. We do human things like fart and cough. <laughs> so, and have stuffy noses. So yeah, I guess, yeah, that's how I got into fitness. And I am so grateful for this chain of events in my life. And actually I've met a lot of amazing people through my fitness journey. And I hope that one thing I want in the future is to be able to utilize my diploma more than just helping myself and giving information to other people, I wanna legitly help people and use that knowledge that I learned to help people and maybe not transform lives. I don't wanna give myself that power. It's all in, in the power of the self. I just wanna be uh, a resource or somebody that others can come to. Thank you so much for listening. I don't mean to tell you what to do, but I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Bye.